What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as you might have heard, the next unit that's going to be dropping on the global side of the game is the Int LR Turles movie Goku. So in today's video, we are going to be breaking down everything related to this release from the unit details to the animations, the banner and all that good stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard earned dragon stones to try and pull him. So yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And the first thing we'll start with are the animations. So popping over to the official Dokkan Twitter page. Uh, let's full screen that. And I'm going to pause my music. Okay, here we go. And there you have it. Those are the animations for the Turles movie in LR Goku. Um, as a whole, I think they look very clean. Uh, not the greatest animations I've ever seen, but it's like a solid 8 out of 10. And the OST for the active skill is uh, really, really good. So as a whole, um, nothing to complain about, nothing crazy, but good animations on this Goku. And obviously, as you can tell from the uh, 18 key super attack animation, that it is an attack all super attack, which we'll get to. So now let's take a look at the banner. And uh, this is a standard legendary summon banner by today's standards with the three featured LRs. So we have, of course, the new LR Goku and the two other LRs featured are the LR Gohan and Goku, as well as uh, LR Golden Frieza, and uh, some other SSRs. We got this Yajirobe, we got uh, Gohan and Krillin, we got Aider, and also another Goku. So um, yeah, overall this banner is pretty bad, <laughs> I gotta be honest. I mean, three feature LRs, you know, a couple years ago would have been a big deal, but now it's standard, so that's nothing to write home about. And as far as, you know, the LRs themselves, um, they're not bad. They're not bad. But these two guys are uh, both a couple years old, at least, or over a year old at this point, right? And I'm not saying that they're not good LRs. I think Golden Frieza is still quite good. I think the Gohan and Goku still quite good, but not top tier LRs anymore, in my opinion, right? So um outside of getting the new lr goku it's not the most exciting to pull these two at this point and obviously these other guys are available on every banner so it's not like you need to summon on this banner for them and uh as far as value goes there's not a lot of value to speak of um we will be getting the halloween banner in a couple weeks or probably like a week from now, and even though that banner is not going to have any new units, it's going to feature a lot of more recent Dokkan Fest units, so uh, there's definitely going to be much more value there for most players, right? So uh, yeah, banner bad, um, 6 out of 10, maybe 5.5, something like that, not great. So that is the banner for the Goku, and now let's talk about what the Goku actually does, because of course that is the most important part. Um, his name is Power to Defend the Green Planet, Goku. Leader skill is Movie Heroes or Final Trump Card, keep plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Um, 
it's fine, nothing crazy, you know, 150 K plus 4, standard for a gold coin LR. 12k super greatly raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage, and then 18k super greatly raises attack defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to all enemies, so an attack all super. And then passive is Q plus 5, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack when facing only one enemy. Q plus 5 when facing two or more enemies, and attack and defense plus 30% up to 150% when performing an ultra super attack per existing enemy. Count starts from the second enemy. Q plus 1 and attack plus 59% for the rest of the battle after delivering a final blow, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when key is 21 or more. Uh, active skill, super spirit bomb, massively raises attack, uh, sorry, attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage, and can be activated when HP is 59% or less starting from the third turn from start of battle, or can be activated when facing only one enemy starting from the fifth turn from start of battle once only. Links, Saiyan Warrior Race on the uh, on the family, Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Pure Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Final Trump Card, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Bond of Parent and Child, Earthbred Fighters, and Power of Wishes. Okay, so that is the kit for the Goku. Um, he is able to do okay in single target events but he's definitely meant for an attack all uh, event like world tournament or super battle road or i guess it's kind of it you know there's like a few select events or few select stages here and there but for the most part when you think attack all or multiple enemy events it's mainly super battle road and world tournament right and the issue is that we at this point, I already have a lot of good units for those purposes, right? We have a lot of good attack all units in the game. And this Goku just felt a little bit unnecessary, in my opinion. At least, obviously, the character is not unnecessary. Obviously, it makes sense to have him after the release of Turles, but it's just like a, a unit like this felt a little bit unnecessary. It felt like something that nobody was really asking for, right? Just another World Tournament unit. Um, and he really just doesn't perform that well outside of those events, and I don't even feel like he's the best option for those events, but at least he does pretty well there, but in like single target events, which is like most of the events in the game, he's just very underwhelming, and um, yeah, I just don't really feel like he has a place in the meta at this point, even though he's just coming out, like obviously you can use him, obviously he's gonna do fine, I'm not saying he's horrible, I just don't think he's that great. I just think he's middle of the pack, right? And given the power creep that some of these like newer units these days are experiencing, like they're putting up crazy numbers, getting crazy defense, like, you know, like a bunch of units these days are just kind of off the charts broken. Um, he's not on that level, <laughs> and for that reason, I don't really think he's all that worth it, at least to me. Okay, I just feel like it's one of those units that you'll be happy to pull by accident when you're going for something else, but it's not a unit you specifically need to go for. Um, that's how I feel about it. I just think his performance really does not warrant uh, the stones that you would have to spend to try to get him, unless you do like a single and get him or like a multi or something like that. So um, I guess it's pretty clear that my recommendation for this unit, for this banner is a skip, um, it's a pass, uh, if you want to pull, it's up to you, <laughs> it's your prerogative, but I just don't think it's a great idea, and obviously, um, I'll always say, do what makes you happy with this game, because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, but maybe go lighter on your summons, right, maybe only do a couple of multis as opposed to spending all your stones on something like this. Uh, especially because we know so many better units, so many better banners are on the horizon. You don't want to be splurging on a banner like this for a unit like this. So, um, yeah, Int Super Saiyan. Oh, sorry, not Super Saiyan. Int Base Goku slash Kalkin Goku from uh, the Turtles movie. Um, he's fine. He's fine, but nothing super exciting. And uh, banner 
pretty bad animations. Pretty nice, so no complaints there. But uh, that is your pass or pull recommendation. Obviously, I would hope you guys have the information to make your own decision on what to do with this release. But I gotta be honest, I think that it should be a skip for most people. So that's gonna do it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you plan to do uh, with your stones as it relates to this banner. And uh, hopefully this video helped you. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out